I love shitty Chinese food, so today we're going to the worst Chinese food restaurant and the best Chinese food restaurant in my city. And hopefully I don't get food poisoning. Oh, oh fuck. I'm literally in the middle of the road right now. I almost got hit by a Vespa. Could you imagine that? If I died by a Vespa? Oh, how did he die? Oh, he was laying in the middle of the road and he got hit by a Vespa. Fucking Vespa? Ah! Uh, oh my god, you look like Eddie from Stranger Things. Because my yard is in your fire! Alright, now we're approaching Yang Chao. It was established in 1977. It's an iconic Los Angeles Chinatown restaurant. It's the the best Chinese food I've had in Los Angeles and all of the reviews also say it's the best Chinese food so if you think otherwise if you think another Chinese place is better then you're probably fucking dumb you're probably stupid you probably poop your panties and pee yourself and scream and cry enjoy Thank your food you. right there yeah yeah you too Thank you. Not, don't enjoy your food. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy it here, yeah. Fuck, I'm so stupid. I told him to enjoy it too. Stupid, stupid. He's not eating food. All right, so I got my Yang Chow, uh, and now I'm going to eat it in my car because I don't know where else to eat it. You know what? I'm going to eat this outside. I found a place to eat the Chinese food. Got a view too, right by the LA River, the disgusting LA River. All right, yeah, we're going to eat on top of my car. Fuck it. Slippery shrimp, orange chicken, shrimp lo mein, and of course, fortune cookies. All of this came out to $62 and something cents. That's pretty fucking expensive. Oh, fuck, I'm so excited. That is the slippery shrimp right there. They look fucking insane. Here's the lo mein. It doesn't look like much, but I promise it is fucking fire. And the orange chicken. I forgot what they called it. It's something else, but that looks awesome. Lo mein, here we go. Truthfully, I like the house lo mein better than just chicken, but it's gas. Of course it's good. However, I do think I've had better lo mein. Their fried rice here crazy. I like lo mein better than fried rice though. And if you don't like lo mein better, then you fucking suck. Slippery shrimp. This is their specialty, what they're known for. They call me the slippery shrimp. That's what it looks like. <laughs> fucking stupid. All right, here we go. Ooh, fuck. Fuck me, man. That is fucking, what the fuck? Oh, it's sweet. It's spicy. It's savory, it's crispy. Get the fuck out of here, I'm trying to do a fucking video. Homie just parked his car right behind me. I'm trying something new. We're doing the orange chicken. Normally I hate on people for eating orange chicken because mostly it's bread, but I used to work at a Chinese restaurant and then I had really good orange chicken and now I'm obsessed. Yeah, I ate an entire plate when I wasn't supposed to. Binge eating disorder. Orange chicken, let's do it. I love when the sauce seeps into the broccoli, the little florette at the top. Not my favorite orange chicken I've had. Their general sows is one of my favorite Chinese dishes. There was a really good Chinese spot in Ohio, and it was one of my favorite Chinese places, but it got shut down because there was sex trafficking and like massages. Give handies in the back and give me food up front. Food and sex, that's all I want ever. Lo mein, 8.5 out of 10. Slippery shrimp, 9.5 out of 10. Orange chicken, 7.5? Wait, hold the motherfucking phone. I didn't open up my fortune cookie. You can't look at the fortune until you eat the cookie. The fortune won't come true until you eat the cookie. A cheerful message is on its way to you. Hopefully someone will give me a blowjob this week. I might put a hat on. I look like Mrs. fucking Frizzle up in this bit. Before I go to Hong Kong Express, the worst Chinese food place in my city, I wanna read some reviews. Hong Kong Express is a two star place. Let me go to a five star review and then I wanna go to a one star review. Take it from a Chinese person here. This obviously isn't a high class Chinese restaurant, but it goes great for Chinese Chinese food fast food restaurant. This place does not skip out on their food. When I asked for chow mein, the woman working hooked it up. Now I'm gonna look at the one star reviews. Absolutely, positively, the worst Chinese food I've ever eaten. I feel sick to my stomach, feels like my intestines will burst. I'm so sorry I gave it a try. Chicken was some sort of marinated rubbery yellow meat. Warning! These people stole my credit card information. Hey, the weatherman come to bring us sugar rain. All right, so we just made it to Hong Kong Express. Let's go in and see if it's fucking gross. Uh, yeah, I'll do the chow mein and then the fried rice. Uh, I'll do the barbecue pork. Do the orange chicken. That's in Granny. It's sunset, guys. The time is running out, so I'm gonna go home and eat Hong Kong Express. I'm not dealing with this sunlight bullshit in my fucking eyes. I can't see shit. Boom. It looks fucking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna start with egg rolls. Fuck it. Egg roll. 
It's okay. I think Jack in the Box has better egg rolls. Better than Dollar Tree egg rolls, though. I'm gonna try the weirdest thing first, which is this weirdo fucking looking sliced barbecue pork. It looks like person. I can't believe I swallowed that. The flavor is pretty tasty. The texture. Ew. I mean, come on, man. Some parts are just chewy as fuck, like chewy, fatty, fat, McFat fat. And then some parts are hella hard. All right, let me get some of this lo mein. The lo mein looking pretty fucking good. The lo mein's fire. Some fried rice here. Let's try the fried rice. Really, really bad fried rice. There we go. Some weird looking orange chicken. Bone apple titty. The sauce is dope. Similar complaint as Panda Express though. Absolutely no meat inside of it. It's pretty much all bread. Y'all fucking bugging. This place ain't that bad. I bet there's way worse places if it was like the worst pizza or worst sushi. I don't even want to find out what sushi is. But if you want to find out what the worst sushi is or any other worst thing or best thing in my city, comment down below what worst or best thing you want me to try next. Or if you don't want me to do this at all and just want me to shut the fuck up. Peace. Drip Eliante, pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte.